Sony PlayStation is the best-selling console for January 2022. Horizon Zero Dawn has sold over 20 million copies. And Lost Ark is offering extra Founders Pack items to get players to swap to quieter servers. This is your Daily Fix. PlayStation 5 was announced to be the best-selling U.S. console in January 2022 by NPD Group. The analyst group's latest data disclosed the PlayStation 5 being the best-selling hardware in both units and dollars made. The Xbox Series XS placed second in the same categories. Before 2022, the highest figures to date were back in 2009 when the Wii, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 had been on the market for some years. In software sales, Pokemon Legends Arceus took the top spot, followed by Call of Duty Vanguard, Monster Hunter Rise, Madden NFL 22, and God of War in 5th place. As of February 2nd, the PlayStation 5 has officially outsold the Nintendo Wii U, hitting 17.3 million sales over the holiday season. Even with massive shortages, PlayStation 5 outsold the PlayStation 4 in its first year and became the fastest selling console in the US history in both unit and dollar sales in its first five months on the market. Moving on, in great news, Horizon Zero Dawn has sold over 20 million copies across PlayStation 4 and PC globally. The new statistics shows numbers of copies sold on both platforms as of November 2021, with over 1 billion hours spent playing the game. That's great news for the team, considering Alloy is returning very soon in a sequel, Forbidden West. Nico Partners analyst Daniel Ahmad mentioned the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition released on both PlayStation 4 and PC and had helped the game reach the sales milestone, with the last known sales figure clocked at over 10 million back in 2019. So congrats to Horizon Zero Dawn making it to the 20 million plus copies club, joining God of War, Uncharted 4, and The Last of Us. And finally, if you're like me, you have like five different tabs open trying to get the Lost Ark Twitch drops while also having the game in the background as you are in a queue of like 10,000. <sighs> well, to fix the situation, Lost Ark is offering players who paid to play the MMO early additional items if they switch to quieter servers. In an effort to alleviate the struggle with long queue times as the official launch of the game looms closer, Lost Ark's developer Smilegate stated in a blog post that several measures to reduce queue times will be initiated. Players who bought the Founders Pack to gain early access will be offered the same items again if they switch to quieter servers to spread the huge volume of players around. Currently, the game doesn't allow existing characters to be transferred to new servers and would force players to start a new game again from scratch with new characters. This means means any premium items from the previous server would have been left behind, but Smilegate is having a change of heart to allow Founder Pack holders to transfer their treasured items to any new server of their choosing. In addition to the offer, those who purchase the silver, gold, or platinum packs will also be given extra royal crystals that can be used to buy skins, mount, stronghold decorations, and more premier items in the in-game shop. To be eligible for the replicated items and royal crystals, players will need to switch servers and redeem items by February 14th, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Happy Valentine's Day! I got you a new server! More than a dozen additional servers have been opened to coincide with Lost Ark's launch as the game has become Steam's biggest ever game, overtaking Apex Legends and Among Us in peak concurrent users before its official release date. By the time you're watching this, Lost Ark should have launched as a free-to-play game, so good luck queuing up as there were delays to the game earlier today. And that was your Games Fix for today, February 11th. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.